my name is Stan Spurlock. I'm from Cayman Courthouse, New Jersey. I'm here for my opening uh, at Soma Gallery, which is uh, the up-and-coming gallery in Cape May, run by Jenna Miller. And this is my second solo show here. Uh, I've got a body of work here that includes pastel paintings from most of South Jersey, the marshes, the beaches, the dunes, uh, some water scenes, a few dramatic sunsets and I've got a body in the next room that has some figurative pieces in it. Some people playing on the beach, uh, people walking in the sand. It's quite a mix of work for me and that's a difference. Painting for me is a um, and I think for most artists, I don't want to sound unique in that, it's an emotional outpouring. It's, 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 the, uh, it's the need that a human has as a creative person or creative soul is to say something with their hands, to say something with, uh, with their minds that other people can actually look at. And you know, eventually that becomes something that other people then figure out what it is on their own too. But as a, crea a creative person, I just have this need to produce something. Uh, it, it's a drive. So for me, going out into the landscape, going to a place where I've been as a kid, going to the forest, South Jersey Forest, where I like to walk around, I just like to go out there and set up my easel and, and just start to record the way the day feels. And, you know, I teach painting. I teach young, old people how to go outside and, and do this kind of thing. And really what I try to teach people, in, in, which is the same thing for me, is, is you have to let yourself become part of the scene. You have to be part of the moment. You can't be hungry, you can't be angry, you can't uh, be in a hurry. And you have to let whatever it is that you're looking at just saturate your eyes and saturate your brain. And it has to start to cook a little bit inside of you. And then you, you let it come out your hands. That whole scene, which I like to uh, relate to as, it, it's kind of creating a song. When it hits the canvas eventually, that basically is a song that somebody else needs to play. And hopefully they hear the same music. I'd probably like to paint even larger. I started out painting very small. Some of the paintings in this room are pretty big, two foot by three foot, but I, I really want to paint even larger yet. So I've been amassing large pastels, which are hard to come by. You get them in France and Australia, and if I can get enough of them so that I can actually make a good painting with a lot of large pastels, I'll do that.